Performance number 4,000 of the Grand Old Opry. We're so proud to be here and so proud to have you with us tonight. And we are going to honor the late, great Minnie Pearl tonight um, in song and in stories and just have a night of remembrance of one of the truly great ladies of country music's history. And uh, right now they have um, a little video piece that uh, is right back here if you'll all watch this with us as we honor Miss Minnie. Sarah Ophelia Colley was 28 years old on November 7, 1940. Dressed in a pinafore, white stockings, Mary Jane shoes, and a straw hat with flowers around the brim, the young actress stood beside the stage ready to make her first appearance on country music's most popular radio show, The Grand Ole Opry. Opry founder George D. Hay, the solemn old judge, walked over to her and whispered the words of wisdom that would become the heart of one of the greatest careers in show business history. Just love them, honey, and they'll love you back. While the audience did love Minnie Pearl that night, she was a far more demure country girl than the sassy, man-crazy, raucous woman the world would come to know. Well, I bet you that I can kiss you without getting within three feet of you. That you can kiss me without getting within three feet of me? I bet you 50 cents. There's my 50 cents. I bet you 50 cents I can get with I can kiss you without getting within three feet of you. Well, there's the money. All right, you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> well, now, wait a minute. You got closer than any three feet. There's your 50 cents. <laughs> In early days at the Opry, Ophelia, whom even those closest to her would eventually call Minnie, 
formed a lifelong friendship with the king of country music, Roy Acuff. Throughout her career, she would credit him as the greatest influence in her life. Roy, she said, saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. He taught me to be silly, to be willing to make a fool of myself, to loosen up and just give everything I had to entertain the audience. And while Minnie may have spent her life looking for a handsome feller to kiss, Sarah Ophelia Colley found true love with Henry Cannon. Minnie delighted in telling the story of the time Henry just shook his head and smiled and said, Minnie, when God finished making you, he must have sat back and buffed his nails. She was a trailblazer for all women in country music. She was the first solo female cast member of the Opry. And in the 1940s, she was the first solo female act to travel in the rough and tumble man's world of country concert tours, where she proved to performers and audiences alike that a woman could not only sell her share of tickets on the road, she could also remain a lady. She was one of country music's first female radio, television, and recording stars. People who didn't know a banjo from a steel guitar knew who the woman with the $1.98 price tag dangling from her flower brim hat was. She was Minnie Pearl, and she had become a cultural icon. In honor of her extraordinary career, she was elected to the Country Music Hall of Fame and the National Comedy Hall of Fame, as well as being awarded a National Medal of the Arts by then-President George Bush. With hugs, humor, and wise advice, she made each new generation of country music artists feel like welcome members of the family. She was devoted to her friends and peers and inspired all of us with her monumental charity work and humanitarian efforts. And most importantly, she never forgot Judge Hayes' wise advice. For over 50 years, she loved us. And oh my, how we loved her back. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please make welcome Barbara Mandrell. I'm so, thank you. God bless you. I'm so full of joy tonight and so full of gratitude because all of us are here singing the praises of our national treasure that we are all so honored to be celebrating Minnie Pearl. There's not a week goes by, truly, that I don't think something reminds me of Minnie. I was very blessed that she was one of my dearest friends. She was so kind and wonderful to all of my children. I know we all knew her as the, the epitome of great entertainment as a performer, but as a person, she was truly the most special. She was fun to be with. She, I remember her coloring Easter eggs with my little girl when my little girl was five years old on my bus and we were working on the road. I remember when she brought my little girl out on the Opry to tell a joke with Minnie Pearl on the Opry. I remember when she was so kind to my whole family every time she was with them. But most of all, I remember that as my girlfriend, we really had fun together. She had, was so full of wisdom for everyone, everyone in country music. And I feel that the, uh, the most important thing I can share with all of you, I cannot say this about anyone else. I've known, thank you, Lord, many great people in my life. But Minnie Pearl is the only one, the only one that I have never, never heard one negative or bad thing about. It was always praise for this enormous, huge, big-hearted woman that loved all of us so, so much.